In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve the pivot ice cream case. So in this case, the first thing I ask you to do is sort, using sort, sort revenue data worksheet. Sort these three conditions, year, store, month. So if we go to the data, let's highlight all of the data. And then <clears throat> data sort. So I'm going to do year store month. I think that's how I think it's. Let me just double check. Year store month, right. So in the sort, sort one by year, sort two by store, sort three by month. Okay, so it's the first thing that I ask to do, kind of organize the data. Then using the data provided on the revenue data worksheet, create a series, a set of pivot tables to answer the following questions. So total revenue, cost, profit, and units by brand. Okay, so let's have this area highlighted. But before I move on, first I gotta remember I want to set it's always proper protocol <clears throat> to set a freeze Oh, and I want to freeze the top row so I can scroll and see what I'm looking at. I also want to, let me resize this a little bit. Make it so it's easier to see. And then I, I see here that this is, this is why we don't use the accounting format because it just looks weird. Um, so we're going to reformat this using the financial format of currency. Okay. I see the GM is blank here, so I'm going to set up a GM. So this is the units, the cost, and the revenue. So uh, revenue minus cost divided by revenue. This will give me a GM. Let's put the parentheses in. Okay, so we get a GM percent. I'll copy that down. Okay. So the average is 84%. And that's the sum and the count. 19. Oh, I started at the wrong position. I should always make sure I'm at the top when I do this. Okay, that's better. All right, <clears throat> so now that I've uh, organized the data, I, and while I'm here, I might as well take the time, which you should be doing every file, to set the print range. So I'll set the print area, and I'll just make sure that adjust the margins a little bit, put in a uh, a header and a footer. Actually, I should do it the other way. Put the title and then the okay, and then the sheet rows are repeat at the top. Repeat that row. All right, and just do a print preview. Okay, it looks good. So I'll get that out of the way. So now to have the formatting to my liking, I'm going to go and. Highlight the whole area and create insert a pivot table. Okay. So the first thing it asks here would be revenue, cost, profits, and units by brand. I want to select brand as my row and then Revenue costs revenue costs profits and units. So where is profit? Oh, 
So actually, I should create. I'm going to un. I'm going to undo this pivot table because I need to create profits. So let me insert here. Profits and profits are revenue minus cost. Now, cost. I'm going to copy the format of and put that here. So costs should also um, be with a dollar sign. Units are units; they don't need a dollar sign. So let me create a profits field. Okay. Now that I've included profits. I can recreate the pivot table. Insert pivot table. And then I can revenue cost profits units. Okay. So revenues costs profits units. All right. So I'm going to re naming this brand pivot table. So I'm going to go back to the revenue data and I'm going to insert another pivot table. And the second one is going to be for store. So I'm going to relabel this store pivot table. So you want to do this by store. Okay, so now we have it by store. Okay, go back to the data, insert. And you want to keep inserting this pivot table so that way when um, the data, we want the data always to be displayed, even though I could use the same pivot table to kind of rotate between the different uh, brand or store. But here I'm purposely creating a worksheet for each pivot table that was asked for. Okay, so the next pivot table would be by group. By each for group. So, okay, group. And so group would be the distinguisher, high end or low end, I guess. Revenue, costs, profit, units. Group pivot table. So then we want it by year. So we'll create another pivot table. So this one is by year. Units. Okay. So we want these, we want year to be over here. There we go. So this is the row and these are the values. And I want sum. I'm going to actually go in and edit, put these as currency. But they're so big I don't really need change on this. Okay. This be year for table. Okay. And then we have month and flavor. So I need insert pivot table. Month. Let's get the different order there. Revenue, cost, profits. Okay. Revenue, costs, profits, units. Okay, that's by month total. And then flavor was the next one. Okay, so we want it by flavor. Uh, 
outfits units. Okay, so now we have it by flavor. And and you can always, you know, when you have one pivot table, of course we can make all these pivot tables just for one, just by selecting store, unselecting flavor. But we could do by store, by year, and then store, um, gotta make sure, see if this will work. I want year to be over here. So we can break it out by store and year. Store year and flavor, store year brand and flavor, store year group and flavor, store year month and flavor. So there's all these different things that you can highlight. So when you're doing the analysis later, let's bring it back to flavor, uh, you can play certainly play around with this to get better detail. And you should always go into um, your pivot table and format the cells that are currency to be displayed as currency. Okay. All right. So let's go back. So now I answered all of these. I created a pivot table for all seven of the, all six of these requests. Use pivot table to create pivot table charts for each table from questions one to six. So now that we've broken them out into individual worksheets, I can easily go in and then go to uh, insert. Um, So depending on the version of Excel you have, and, and a lot of times it's next to pivot table, say insert pivot chart. Um, my particular, this one I'm working with, uh, has the, where was it now? It has the pivot table, pivot chart on a different page. So mine has an option. So when you're in the pivot table, you have this options tab will appear. And in here you can you can manipulate the pivot environment specifically for this from this option tab. So here they have pivot chart, and I can just press this, and I can quickly create um, a pivot chart from the data. So for each and the pivot chart is a little bit more auto styled. So for each of these, you know, you just want to click on options, see pivot table, this one pivot table tools, options, and design. So here I just want to do the pivot table and select the chart style. And it's a quick, easy way to create all the charts, uh, pivot table charts from questions one through six. Okay, then finally, you need to create an executive summary detailing your answers to the above questions. I think they mean creating executive summary that details your answer from the above questions. Create a provide recommendations for increasing company profits in the future. So these are this is what your executive summary should include answers to all these questions. So, um, in the financial analysis section, make sure you answer all of these questions here. And basically keep in mind that you're analyzing ice cream sales for a local chain of stores and you've got to make recommendations after you do financial analysis you lead to recommendations of what ice creams they should stock what ice creams should they discontinue which ice creams are the most profitable you know picture the store having limited shelf space and they can't put every flavor of every brand up there but what how should they change the way they stock their ice cream and what they sell to maximize profits um, so this case is not too hard to put together as far as the excel and creating the pivot tables when I mean, it's a great review of pivot tables and pivot charts but a lot of the work here is in drafting that executive summary so make sure you spend a lot of time with your financial analysis and your recommendation should be significant to include all these answers to these questions and maybe develop a few insights to impress me and that's what the majority of your grade will be on this case is definitely how you put together the executive summary okay so that's my 15 minute or less video guiding you through the step step step-by-step -step process of completing this case thanks